again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery with a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrap canvas that I have thrown a little bit of platinum rose on the sides. I don't think it's going to matter if it covers yet or not because the other paint will be there. The sides and I'm checking for drips and the top. And then I'm going to use some more and this is going to be the sky area, the dusky sky area. behind my flowers, hopefully. This is some Chantilly Lace. And I'm thinking the more random the better because I'm going to probably smear that across and try and give myself a wet layer of paint. But in the meantime, there's some pink carnation, which is looking not as open as it could be. Or it's definitely time to make some more or clear the tip. Let's just go to town on that then. And I'm going to have to do something with that tip sooner than later. Here is some Pink Lady. I'm going to use a little bit of Frosted Berry if I can. I shook all my bottles and cleared all my tips, but I didn't, I neglected to squeeze them to check. This is going to be a little different for me because I'm going to use, I'm going to start with the dominant pink colors and use some of the black iris. And I really need, I'm going to have to go through and check all my tips. Here is some Midnight Shadow. I want a little claret. Oh, that's sexy. Huh. For the heck of it, I'm going to throw in some cerulean blue, which is usually really strong. And also, the same problem I'm having. That's what I get for leaving the studio for a couple days. It's time to check tips, evidently. I don't know why I'm having this issue. But I don't expect to have it for long. Come out. Okay, no more swirly and blue for me. I will use some blue velvet. Ooh, and that's going to be gorgeous. And deep amethyst. Or basically at this point, whatever's coming out easy, easily. How about a little frozen? And you could do a variation on this theme. I would like to have enough paint along with this black raspberry to flow on um, to stick to my spatula and so I could use it over the sides. Black raspberry is awesome. This is probably more paint than I need. Pretty sure. But I do need to get some of these bottles out of my way. So I have a little bit of elbow room. And I've got to clean those two tips out. Now I'd like to save some of the colors in stripes and I can't go too many times across if I want to do that. It might be a minute now. I'm going to take those colors right there and go across the top. So I guess it was the right amount of color, considering that I needed color for the edges and the top. And it looks to me like I'm going to have to look for objects. Maybe some of the little filaments that came off the top of the bottles that were seeming to be a little clogged. Let's see, I don't want them over mix or I'll lose my stripes. Come on, off you come. Just want to make sure I got everything that I can right now. And I'm wondering if I might want to put a little poinsettia in there after I take that out. And I have some poinsettia. 
No reason I say that. I see another thing. Another thing or two things. Oh, I missed a spot on my edge. It's gotten now, for the most part. I want to go the opposite direction so I don't cover over all my beautiful pinks. And I don't mind having some color down below at the line of at the horizon line demarcation, whatever you want to call it. Scrape that off so I can make sure. It's a it's a process getting used to the prism pores. They're a little they're a lot glossier and they're substantially, they have, I don't know how to say this, they, it's not like they have more weight to them, they just are more substantial in their coverage abilities. All right, I said I wanted some poinsettia and I'm still going to use it. Well, I will, <laughs> if I'm not going to have the same trouble. Not a prison pour trouble, a squeeze bottle trouble. Pretty sky. Use the blade of my spatula to add some dimension to the sky. All right, so I've got a little bit of paint there that I can allow to drip down. I'm gonna check. Good thing to check. Got a few uncovered spots. Just a few though. And up there, and now I'm going to move on to the, my to my foliage area after I make sure that all of this is wiped off. And there's no reason to wipe it off anywhere except for on the canvas, in my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, all paint is useful paint. I could be wrong about that. Seeing there's other colors under there, we could put some clouds in if we wanted to. I don't mind that I have colors still on my spatula. I am going to start with some Mayan gold. I'm going to take that object out of the sky that wound up in there without me looking. Spread a little color around. Not doing anything serious, just cleaning my spatula and getting ready to add a bunch of other colors. The pinks can go away. I'm going to pull out my African violet, give it a little shake. I'm going to try and be faster this time so I actually have some time to do some blooms, but I don't promise. Things don't always work out the way I'd like. That was the African Violet. This is the Deep Amethyst. And I'm going to move on to the greens. I'm going to start with a little Neptune's Gaze. Throw in a little tiny bit of Tuscan Sun. And 
and a little more black raspberry. I don't want to get overly involved with the bottom because I won't get to the next stage. This is a Fandango, which is joyfully clear. And I know I want some wintergreen. And I think I would like to have a little bit of the blue velvet as well. And I really do like the frozen in there. Blue velvet. Blue velvet, cerulean blue, or all three. Try the, a little bit of the cerulean blue, which is still not coming out. It needs to go in my pile of bottles to be checked with this after the moment this video is over. Frozen. Okay, let's get them out of the way. Every time I make a stroke, I'm going to put some of that paint down on my bottom or my sides. And just keep filling in. take a while. It's worth it because the colors are awesome. There is a 20% off coupon code for Color Art products. These are all prism pours. There will be a list of the colors underneath the video. I'm going to go the opposite way so I can get some colors from over here. Push that right over to the edge so I can turn my spatula upside down and clean off the nice colors that are there because I can always fix it on the edges tomorrow. I kind of feel like putting a little green in my dish so I can make some stems. I can do that right now. Fandango. Let's see how I like that. I'm sorry I'm quiet. I'm totally focused on getting my strokes in. Some of my stems, or I hope some of my stems. I've never tried applying stems in advance and that might be an assumption I shouldn't make that <laughs> that's a good idea until I see how this works out. off my spatula. Don't mind if the paint is dark on the bottom of the canvas. It's mostly purpley green. It's a pretty color actually, albeit a little dark. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to I could always add some bright green over it and bring it back to a textural place that I like. Almost there. I've decided I need to do more angles and curves so it looks a lot more organic than it looks when they're straight all straight up and down.
I really don't have any canvas left showing and that was my intention. I should swivel that around while I pick a couple colors. It's too bad about the bottles. I'm really going to want that pink carnation too. Alright. So far so good. Had a few tall, thin blades of grass, I guess. Okay, it's the same problem as it always is, is I'm going to run out of time. So let me get on with it. And as long as the paint is wet, I can still use my spatula, which are available on my Amazon link, by the way. If you look under Show More, you'll find a link tree, and my Amazon link is on there. My two books are there, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, which are the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. Some good stuff in there, too. All right, I'm just going to go for some pink carnation. A little Mayan gold. Some purple cell activator. And call it a start. I might do some orange cell activator also. The orange cell activator is Aussie Floetrol, as is the purple, but it's got unicorn spit in it, which is a wood stain. That just makes me want to grab some of... Really? <laughs> Come on out. This is half Big Apple and half Orange Crush. Or at least whatever it was until I got the color that I wanted. I'm going to try and use some of the Tuscan Sun as a base. And then some of the Orange Crush and or Golden Poppy. I think that's it. And some Aussie Black Cell Activator, which is Amsterdam Black. And hopefully this isn't <coughs> gummy. That is the African Violet, the Blue Velvet, the Frozen, and a little bit of Hot Orchid. And I'm going to use some white cell activator and some black cell activator. And I think that yellow flower is going to get something else. All right, I have no time left. I got one minute and I'll keep going. And I'll come back, hopefully. I like that. I'm going to start with the claret. Use some of the rose violet. A little bit of the deep amethyst. Some blue bonnet. I'm going to change that other flower before I get out of here. And I think I'm going to give myself liberties and have a little hot orchid, which is jasmine and primary elements. I'm going to do the white again. 